obviously the highest we've achieved, and I'm uh, really pleased that uh, in, again in this year of the India-UK FTA, uh, we're nearly at a thousand Indian companies in the UK. On a combined turnover basis, there's a slight drop, uh, as you'll see from there. Uh, but interestingly, in terms of corporation tax, nearly a billion pounds of corporation tax was paid by Indian companies in the UK. And I'm just talking about corporation tax. This is not, this doesn't include uh, VAT, PAY, etc. So the figure will obviously be considerably higher if you take that into account. In terms of employment footprint, it's roughly stayed about the same. Uh, and when I talk about the trends later on, you'll see a, uh, you'll see, uh, you'll see, uh, you'll see a talk about that. Uh, on the diversity side, which we now start have been starting to track for a number of years, there's been an improvement in terms of gender diversity, uh, and this compares very favourably with the. Uh, results in India, which where the figure is about 18, 18%. This is great, and this report is great, and Anuj has heard me say this before, and sorry it's coming again. Indian business is, despite all of this, 10 years of this report, several years in which Indian companies have been the second largest investors in the UK. How come this is not known in the UK? And while I agree, of course, with Lord Johnson, who wouldn't, that not everything you read in the media is true, and believe me, as an Indian diplomat, I have a lot to say about that. Um, there is the simple fact that nobody seems to know that Indian companies are here in such numbers. Why is that? Part of it, ladies and gentlemen, may be because, for those of you who come from India, you will agree with me, we are a shy and retiring people, and we don't like to, uh, trump, uh, to, to blow our own trumpet. Well, no, that's obviously not true. Anybody who's been to India knows that that's not true. So if this is the case, then why are you shy and retiring here? Why is it not possible for us to have a little bit more of a sense of what Indian companies are doing here and why they are here in the sense, what is the driver of their success? And this I don't ask, I'm not the tax man. I'm not asking you for, for, for confidential information. I'm suggesting that this is of value, not just to us in the government of India, or to people in the media who ought to know more about this, but even to the UK government. Frankly, the more organized international investors who are present here in, in, in the UK do a far better job of being able to talk to the government about their concerns or what, they, what they're expecting. And I see a nation that truly has escaped velocity. I spent my whole life investing in India and we've had periods of success and periods of less strong economic success. But I think we all agree now we are we are on the cusp of something sensational. And as a British government minister, I want to be part of that. I want London to be the essential spigot and funnel of the trillions of dollars of capital you're going to need, this nation's going to need to grow. I want your companies in this country. I want my brothers and sisters who support the Chennai Super Kings alongside me to create as two free democracies who believe in the values uh, that we believe in of liberty uh, and human endeavor to come together to truly, by our common partnership, create a stronger set of economies as one. So I'm deeply grateful.